Good morning, folks. Gorgeous eruption we're watching here on SDO. We've got a CME potentially heading our way, and hopefully you caught yesterday's video. First, last day on the sun brought a surge in activity from the now departing sunspot group top right. Several more M-class solar flares, as you can see with the surges in brightness. The coronal hole stream is weak so far. Minor telemetry changes in geospace and minor geomagnetic storms and unrest pretty normal for the higher parts of the sunspot cycle curve. But that eruption we saw at the opening, that happened right as yesterday's show was coming out on YouTube. It seems like a confined and relatively tight ejection of a filament, but it truly pounded itself out into space and had enough force to expel superior coronal particles out in partial halo fashion. You can see the width of the burst here on SOHO, much wider than the core of the filament, and that sparse spread ejecta is what will likely impact Earth tomorrow. Minor to moderate geomagnetic storms are expected, as the coronal hole stream should still be interacting as well. Folks, we're going to have eyes on that tomorrow, but for now, if you did not catch yesterday's video, it's very worth it. The video we were updating from June 2021 is what had brought several of the newest professors in the game into the observer's fold. They published several of the studies that furthered that science over the last year, and with where we are now, all suspicious observers should be patting themselves on the back a bit and then continue stocking canned food. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun for more. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.